the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome as we continue with our Friday night prayer, following the Stations of the Cross, and beginning tonight with the Seventh Station. Jesus falls for the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Again, many people laughed and mocked when Jesus fell. Why? Did they feel superior to Jesus? They think that praying and oh, offering sacrifices and uh, keeping the commandments or knowing the commandments, the Ten Commandments, that that was enough to please God? Did they want? They wanted to ignore Jesus' teaching and God's message of love and mercy to all. In Ethiopia, at this time, there is a lot of fighting in the Tigray area. Nobody is sure of the whole truth yet, but we know people are suffering terribly. Trokra has a long history of working in Ethiopia and has information from people in their partner organizations about how serious the humanitarian needs are because of the conflict. It's too dangerous to tell the workers' names. So, aid worker number one said, people cannot get hold of the basics to survive, like food and water. They cannot get medication or health care. Banks are closed. The internet is suspended. A large, a large number of women and children, many of them have fled to the cities. Second worker added in some are staying in the church compounds or staying on the streets. They come with nothing. There's an urgent need for food, for blankets, and for other essential survival items in the very short term. Bishop in Agarat says that over 600 people, 600 people not involved in the fighting 
were massacred in November a few months ago. Jesus. Jesus, help us always to be people of peace. We love you and try to love others. Help us to remember every person has been created and is important to you. We know, yes, it is important to pray and to stay to keep true to the church's teachings. But let us not judge others or think we are better than other people. Eighth station. Jesus meets the woman of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Not everybody was in the crowd was against Jesus. He looked up and he saw some woman crying at what was happening. And Jesus said to the woman, don't cry for me, cry for yourself and for your children. This is two stories from two different people in Tigray. The first one, Sebsibi, she told friends by phone saying, a group of men came to our village shouting, leave our land. They fired their guns. They used swords to attack anyone they found. Didn't matter whether it was women or children or elderly people. Then they torched a house and an old man was beheaded outside his own house. Blood was flowing from his neck. Looted the hotel. 
so many people suffer and others continue to rejoice because of their suffering. Cry to for the times we fail to love others. Lord, we remember your warning, not just those who kill are guilty, but any of us who hold anger in our heart towards another person. Ninth station, Jesus falls for the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Jesus, totally exhausted, falls for the third time, and the crowd still celebrate. Simon must have felt pleased now that he could be a friend to Jesus, so that Jesus is not alone in the awful struggle carry the cross towards his crucifixion. Continuing the stories of the situation in Ethiopia, volunteers offered to bury the dead. They looked for ID cards and brought them back to the churches. If a dead person had no ID, the volunteer took a sample of the clothing or the shoes that they that they wore and they left these at the church so that people could go and look and identify their loved ones who were missing. Human rights groups are having online discussions to stop hateful speeches during the election campaigns. Trukra are also helping the people in Ethiopia. They're supporting health center and pharmacies to provide essential care and to 
restock medicines and supplies. They're working with local experts to provide and to offer mental health support to people. Trokra have helped to get shelter, materials, tents, blankets, sleeping mats, cooking materials and hygiene kits for families, for those who are displaced by the conflict. They're also helping to get food and water to thousands of people and helping to set up hygiene hygiene facilities to help to stop the spread of COVID-19. stop you from falling, but he could still support you. Help us too to help others, especially in very difficult times. We thank you for the volunteers in Tigray who buried so many dead people. We thank you for human rights groups and all who work for justice. We thank you too for Trukra and other aid agencies. Bless them all. afternoon and Maeve's brother Seamus died in England last Wednesday so we'll say a prayer for Seamus. Eternal rest grant on to him O Lord and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he Rest in peace. Amen. And this evening we saw a little of Trukra, Trukra's work. And I'm sure you all know our Trokra box. Some 
some of you maybe have picked them up from the local church. If not, you can still, if you wish, still save your money as usual and bring it to your church after the end of Lent. Or if you wish, let me know and I will bring or post a, a box. was a quiet night in his love and compassion that we may arise in the morning strong in his compassion to show to others his mercy, that we ourselves have first received. May Almighty God grant us his blessing, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our prayer has ended. Let us go. Thank you.